round. Tax is just showing me where to go, so I'm just busy watching him. I don't obviously want to chase the leopard in any way, because I'm not quite sure who it is. Now, he's busy moving off. So it looks like little Hosanna is there. Now, he's just gone behind the bush. Of course he would. So but I'm going to just try and see, because it looks like he's going back the way that we just came. So I'm going to try and just see if I can't quickly get round back onto the road itself because it seems like he's busy moving. Now this is super cool. So I'm just quickly saying hello to everybody because they're all people that we know. Now this particular sort of area is where we've just driven so I'm a little bit kind of surprised that we didn't get to see him. I was, we just came past here not long ago at all and I heard that he, when they found him he had just killed a little Franklin. So he has had a little meal. I don't know how big a Franklin it was or if it was just a very small one but it seems like he has killed one. But here he is just on our left hand side. Hello boy. Look how good he's looking. He's such a cool leopard. I really enjoy spending time with this cat. I'm going to try to just see if I can't sneak forward because he's just behind that bush and there's a little road here that we can maybe get a nice clear view of him. And there's also cars behind us so I want to just try and get forward so that they can also see. But there we go. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? He's one of the most magnificent leopards I've seen. He's got this beautiful gold coat. Now I wonder where he's going to. I think he might head off towards Twin Dams. He's striding his way straight east. So Freebury, you're saying that you're excited to see the little prince to see the little prince and nice job, Tax. Well, I agree. Tax has done a very good job. And it's more probably Taylor than anybody else, because Taylor was the one that picked up these tracks first. So we owe a big debt to Taylor as well. So I'm a bit sad that she didn't get to find it and unfortunately I thought she was actually further away than she was otherwise I would have let her come in before me for sure so we can have to say a big thank you to Taylor she's definitely helped us to be able to see old Hasana. Now we're going to play a game of leapfrog with the vehicles because he is moving straight down the road but there we go he stopped now so we can maybe actually see him. So Laurie, you're saying, wow, he's getting big. He is. He's starting to get really thick around the shoulders. Much like Tingana has that same sort of thick shoulder area, neck area. It's the exact same with Hosane. He's got those big shoulders and he's getting almost that dewlap and thicker neck. So it really is amazing to watch how big he's getting. And I'm sure with time, the more he's sort of feeding and the more he's getting, you know, food and even something as small as a Franklin, that's all adding nutrients and it's going to make him sort of get bigger and bigger. And look at him sort of standing in the road. He's standing very proud and looking around. What has he seen? He spotted something definitely up ahead of us. I wonder if he hasn't seen some more Franklins. Look, he's going into that trot and you can see he's got a much lower look. He's stalking. What have you seen, boy? Oh, he just missed it. He tried to chase a Franklin. Did you see that? It was close, my boy. Well done. But you can see that instinct is there, and he's definitely trying his very best to catch anything that is around. And this is how it is for a young male leopard. Oh, that light on him is amazing. They're going to go after all of the smaller things while they're still younger, and he'll hone his technique on these Franklins. While the Franklin is not ideal in terms of a food item, it's still practice for when he's going to chase things like Dyker and Steenbok and varying other types of small mammals. Now, I'm going to just try to get a little bit closer because the light on him at the moment is absolutely beautiful. Oh no, he's just come out of the patch of light. I was hoping he was going to stay in it. So James, you say Hosanna is looking so fit and healthy and that it's great to see him. Well, yes, it is. He's looking fantastic. And I'm really, really happy that we get to spend some time with him. And I'm hoping from where he is now is that he's going to mo go all the way down to Twin Dams. And hopefully he'll rest up on the dam wall there and we'll get to spend this beautiful afternoon with this great light on him down at Twin Dams. Now I'm just staying back a little bit and letting him walk because the vehicles in front, as I was saying to you earlier, I've got some friends of mine that are leading a photographic group and I don't want to be in their photograph as they photograph the beautiful little prince moving down the road. So I'm going to let him walk and carry on towards their vehicle. There we go. Hello boy. He is so pretty. Look at those eyes. Yes, we're talking about you. 
Yes, we are. What have you seen? Maybe he just wants to say hello to all of you and show his beautiful face. Yes, looks like he's turning around and coming back towards us. Oh, look at that light. As he strolls through this gold, gold afternoon light, there is nothing better. And he's starting to get that real male sort of look about him. Males have this big, chunky sort of look, and they tend to have this... I wonder if there's not more Franklins. Look, he's busy stalking again. This is so cool. Are you going to pounce into that grass again, young man? He's definitely noticed something again. I'm sure there's more Franklins in here. And I wonder if these Franklins aren't just moving about, and that's what triggered his ears. Isn't it amazing the senses that this cat has? The fact that he was walking down the road and strolling, there's cars moving around, and he was still able to hear the noise of something moving in the grass behind him is absolutely astounding. That over the noise of our voices, and the fact that he can discern the difference between our voices, because he undoubtedly will be able to hear me talking, then that's over something moving in the grass that is a potential prey item. It always fascinates me watching these cats move around like this. And I think whatever he heard, he's not 100% sure of because you can see he's kind of still looking around. He's not as focused as he was when he went into that initial stalk and tried to dive onto that Franklin. You are gorgeous, my boy. So, Rebecca, you say, was Hasana not one that I was following once on Bushwalk? Well, yes, we've been lucky enough, all the presenters, to have spent a bit of time with Hasana on foot. So I know that um, James and Brent and Jamie have all seen him on foot. I haven't actually spent too much time with a Bushwalk live with him on foot. I actually had him outside of a live segment on foot when he was right next to me and I didn't even see him until the last second and he was maybe not even a meter away from me and kind of just staring at me with these big eyes as you can see there. So I have seen him on foot a few times but not. I don't think I've had him live on foot. I've had Shongile a few times. She was magical to have on foot. She always used to just spend time relaxing and sitting very close to us and they were such special animals and it's so good that we're starting to see evidence of them moving back into this area again albeit right on the southern boundary and it seems like we flirt with the southern boundary all the time when trying to view these two cats but the fact of the matter is at least there's signs of them again and they're coming back into this area what have you seen boy i love when they get into this posture look look how he's just trying to peer over the grass you are so magnificent and you can see how tall he's getting now as well. He's getting bigger. He really is a very, very pretty cat indeed. I wonder if there aren't little Franklins just in the grass that he's just watching. You might find that there's not only Franklins, but that there are... Maybe there could be a little Steenbok or a little Diker that may be in that area as well. He's definitely listening to something. Now, I'm hoping that he's going to turn northwards because he's right on the main road. And that's causing quite a traffic jam at this stage. There's a number of vehicles that are building up. So I'm hoping he's going to turn around and start moving back towards Trials Dam. Because it will certainly be a lot quieter for him as well as us. But he is magnificent. I'm sure whatever it was that was moving around, he's maybe not able to see. It could have been something small, even like a little mouse um, or a bush felt gerbil. Um, we do get fat rats here as well. So they might be something like that, and he just can't actually see it or hear it anymore. Also, if with Franklins and very well, a lot of other types of small animals like that, when they sort of hear something around, they'll actually slide down and stay as still as possible in order to try and avoid being seen or heard. And so it could be a potential prey item has just gone dead quiet inside there, sitting as still as possible and hoping that the leopard moves away. And he's just now playing the patience game where he's trying to watch and listen and hope that that animal then decides to move again. Now, Christopher, you say he's beautiful. Well, indeed he is. And he's looking so magnificent at the moment. I'm surprised also that he's looking a lot fuller than when I saw him. I think it was yesterday morning or was it the day before when we saw him? And he was looking much, much skinnier than what he is now. He's definitely been able to catch something. So besides the Franklin that he just caught now, it looks like there's a little bit of a swell in the belly. Look, he's ready to pounce. I mean, he's gone back down again. I don't think he's quite sure just yet, but definitely almost getting ready to pounce into that long grass. 
Look at the tail. The tail is such a telltale thing when it comes to leopards. When they're excited, that little tail starts to twitch, and it almost indicates their sort of mood that they're in when they get this sort of moment where they want to try and move, and the tail twitches a little bit. But he's decided, obviously, that that's enough, and now we're going to carry on downwards. A little flick of the tail, and off he goes. And I love the way leopards walk. They're kind of bandy legs that they have and the tail that flicks. So cool. But we are going to follow him along and see where he gets to. He is, like I say, going straight towards twin dams at this stage. So we are going to try and just keep up with him. But I want to give him a bit of space. So as we, like I say, give our photographic reference. Now, while we follow Hosanna along and see where he goes to, let's go across to Taylor, who I believe has got another predator of the African bush.